like they're all pretty much under $100. Let's get some shares. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas if you're brand new and I make videos every single week here on YouTube. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my 10 favorite pairs of shoes seeing as I've just gone on a shoe shopping spree. Actually I've only just bought four new pairs of shoes but I'm really 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 excited to show you guys this and uh, this video is also actually a video request from Sol Avila. Sol Avila has asked that I do a video about my shoe and sock collection so I'm going to be showing you all of that good stuff today and I just wanted to say Sol Avila said that he has 98 pairs of shoes. That is fucking crazy. I only have, I literally, I probably have 15 pairs, but I'm only gonna be showing you 10 today. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Let me know in the comment section below. So to kick this video off, I think I should just show you what kind of socks I wear. I literally wear one type of sock and it's an ankle sock. It doesn't go over my ankle, it goes around the front of the foot and around the back, the back of the heel, and that is it. And I have a, probably about 16 pairs of these. So uh, if you wanna know what kind of socks I wear, there you go, but yeah. Ankle socks, they're the best. Okie dokie, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you would know that I've been doing a lot of shopping lately and probably a little bit too much, but I bought four new pairs of shoes, uh, which I thought was totally appropriate for this kind of video. And I wanted to start from the newest shoe to the oldest shoe. Uh, so that's the order that we're gonna go in today. So the first shoe that I've got to show to you is the TUK Creeper. These came in the mail yesterday. I have wanted a pair of TUK Creepers since I was about 18. I never had the balls to buy them though, always because I always thought that this chunky sole was like too feminine or whatever. But uh, I've kind of gotten over that and I actually just gave in to the impulse the other day when I saw these on sale and I just went and bought them. And I actually, you know what, I freaking love them. I find the, um, the chunky sole to be quite unique and awesome looking, you don't really see See these on many shoes. In saying that, uh, Rihanna has just collaborated with Puma. They're called Fenty Creepers and they are fucking hot. I tried to get my hands on a pair, but one, they were just too expensive, and two, they're super popular. Like, I just could not get my hands on a pair. So I went with the TUK Creepers, one, because I've always wanted a pair, and two, they were on sale. I got these for 50 bucks, but that was from the Australian website. If you check the American one, I think they're still full price, but yeah. If you want some creepers, that's what this kind of shoe is called. They are freaking amazing and they look just phenomenal. I just love them, okay? <laughs> okay, so shoe number two is these pink Chelsea boots from Urban Outfitters. Also, if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that I'm going through this big fat pink phase where I'm just buying everything pink. I do have like this whole pink outfit video coming for you, but I really, really want to execute it well. And these boots definitely fall into that category. You're not really meant to be seeing any of the, the footage or photos from the pink uh, outfits, but I will show you a little bit in this video just so you can see how these boots look with some attire. And yeah, I just love these boots. When they first arrived, I actually don't have the boots right here right now, because I had to send them back because they were a little bit too small. So I've actually just tried the boots on just to show you guys, and then uh, I'm waiting for the right size to come back in the mail. I really Really, really really am loving pink right now so yeah tick urban outfitters also ps all of these shoes are really really affordable like they're all pretty much under a hundred dollars i either get them on sale or i get them like just because they're cheap while we're on the topic of pink as well shoe number three is these bad boys that i got from azos they are an azos special actually if you have a look at the tag they are from ASOS. They are a beautiful dusty pink. They're just a really nice smart dress shoe. And yeah, I just love these as well. They go with all my pink outfits that I've got. And speaking of pink again, I just cannot wait to show you all of those pink outfits. <laughs> these guys were on sale as well on ASOS. They were $55 down from like, I think 120. ASOS is great for any anything you wanna go and buy. You can like filter out uh, whether you want like cheaper, whether you want a color. When I went on there actually shopping on ASOS, I went, just show me all the pink stuff. And I got all the pink stuff and that's how I found these. But you can go to the sales section, you can go to the cheap section, you name it, you can do it on ASOS. And I am really, really a big fan of their website. Alrighty, and shoe number four are these white slip-ons from Zara. So uh, white slip-ons are been my favorite thing forever. I've been the like the last pair of shoe that I'm going to show you is like the regular slip-on that I wear. But these slip-ons are ones that I found in the Zara Man store. Zara Man is uh, look seriously, that is a shop that every time I go into Zara Man, I find something that I have to have, and it's just crazy. Anyway, the most recent time that I went into Zara Man, these are the ones that I had to have, particularly because. 
if you look at these as well, they've got a really thick sole, kind of like the Creeper, they're not as thick, but um, compared to a normal shoe, this sole seems a little bit thicker and I'm just really digging that. I feel like that's in fashion at the moment. So that's the reason I had to buy these. These were $40, $40 uh, Australian. And yeah, I just really, really like them. I would wear these with, uh, you know, like casual wear as, you know, a pair of shorts and a singlet or something like that. It's totally up to you. I would just say, as a rule of thumb, smart casual. Okie dokie, and shoe number five. Woo! Another ASOS special, if you have a look again. These ones were only $24. They're made of fake suede, which is fine by me, I don't really mind. And $24, seriously, they weren't even on sale, but that's how much this shoe was. And I think these are a really like, they kind of look like a nice dressy shoe, uh, but very cheap, if you know what I mean. The way you can tell they're cheap is if you see this crease, See that? When I put my foot in this, you can actually see the crease, which makes me a little bit disappointed, but for $24, I don't even give a shit. They actually look really, really cool, and I love this tan color. This tan color goes with pretty much anything. So yeah, I really, really like them. 24 bucks, ASOS. Honestly, go check ASOS out after you leave this video. Moving on to shoe number six. So obviously there was gonna have to be a pair of Nikes in here somewhere. So here they are. These are my workout shoes. They're actually a little bit dirty. Oh my God. And these are the smelliest shoes that I own, particularly because these are the shoes that I do the most work in. They are they actually don't smell too bad, and that is because of a certain product, but these shoes were, I think, uh, $110 from the Nike outlet store at Harbortown, and I really, really love them. They've got these really cool patterns on them. I got these when I first started Zone because I needed a shoe that was more like support and running because we do a lot of like uh, boot camping, but we also do a lot of weights and things like that, so uh, a shoe like this was really, really good for that. The only thing is that they get quite smelly, but the way I've been combating bad smelly feet is with this Lumi Outdoor spray so I'm actually not getting paid to put this in this video but the reason I like this so much is because of the smell and it's an all-natural product the main ingredients are like peppermint oil eucalyptus oil tea tree oil and all of those really really good smelling oils and they're all natural so there's no chemicals going into your shoes they've actually smelled 10 times better after I've been using this stuff but yeah if smelly feet is kind of like something that gets on your nerves I would go and check out Lumi because their natural spray actually works super good I really like it all right moving on to shoe number Number seven, a Dr. Martin suede boot. So I got these off my sister for my birthday, I think two years ago. Love, love, love Dr. Martens, particularly because of the aerated sole that they put in them. They literally feel like you're bouncing. I do have a normal pair of Doc Martens, but they didn't make the cut this time because they're just not pretty enough, <laughs> to be honest. But these ones are. So these are kind of like a dress shoe slash casual shoe. Really, really like it. I probably, I don't wear these ones as much as my other pairs, simply because I actually, as a rule of thumb, just like to hang around in, in casual clothes as it is. But if I go out somewhere where it's really nice or it's smart casual dressing, I'll definitely wear these guys. I feel like the color navy blue kind of goes with everything, so it's not like it wasn't ever gonna fit in my closet. Shoe number eight, the boat shoe. Uh, I fucking love boat shoes. I even have a Pinterest board that is dedicated just to boat shoes. That's how crazy about boat shoes I am. Again, I would probably not wear these anywhere formal. They're quite dorky looking, but like smart as well. Love boat shoes. I've had this pair for about a year now. I got them from Industry. They're about $80. They're not the best fitting. There is better fitting boat shoes that you can get out there. I wouldn't be sure of what the brands are. I just like the look of them, but yeah. I don't know, I just, I've always been in love with uh, the look of a boat shoe and these ones from industry are the ones that I have. So I like them and they are definitely a casual item. Shoe number nine is a Chuck Taylor or a Converse shoe. Everybody has had a pair of Converse All-Star shoes. The dirtier they get, the better they look, in my opinion, anyway. So uh, I've had this pair for about two years now. They're a red pair. Again, casual wear, I probably wouldn't wear these any, anywhere like smick or schmick or whatever you want to call it. But uh, you have to have a pair of chucks in your, in your closet. Like, come on, if you don't have a pair of chucks, go and buy some. They are comfy, they're cool, and the dirtier they get, the better. And for shoe number 10, the white slip-on from Big W. So before I had the white slip-on from Zara, which was a little bit more expensive, but the white slip-on from Big W, honestly, I cannot recommend this to anybody enough. The reason is they are so fucking cheap. $5 for a pair of these, right? I actually got these from the ladies section because they've stopped making them in the men's. But yeah, $5, are you kidding? 
for a great look. I also wear these just with like really, really, really casual wear. If you didn't notice, I kind of like casual wear a lot. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing. If you're in the States, I'm not sure whether you guys have Big W, but you have things like Walmart or something. And I am absolutely certain you'd be able to find a white slip on like this in Walmart. Honestly, you must be able to. And even if you're looking at me going, he's fucking crazy, just give it a go. Five dollars, what do you got to lose? And I bet you any money after you buy a pair, you'll convert. Guarantee it. Alrighty guys, and that is my 10 pairs of shoes that I wanted to show you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna go and check out any of the websites or brands that I mentioned in today's video, I will leave them all in the description box below so you can go and check them out. But other than that, I just really hope you enjoyed this. and. Honestly, when it comes to footwear or any clothing of that matter, if you want to wear it, I encourage you to go and fucking wear it. Because seriously, if you if you don't go and wear it, then you're going to sit there go, like I did with the Creepers, going, oh, I really want a pair of them, but nobody will like me if I wear them. Thinking like that, um, it won't make you happy. Go and buy it, wear it, and that will make you happy. I promise, okay? Also, please make sure you go to my website and check out the giveaway I have this month. Just type in thomasinaction.com, click the this month's giveaway tab, and you'll be able to find the giveaway that I'm doing for March. I'm going to be drawing it on the 28th of March and then announcing it on the 31st. So if you want to win something cool, you have to go to the website to find out what it is. Uh, just head over there and I'll see you there, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. If you like my shoes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. And I'll see you next week for another video. The subscribe button's just down there or down there somewhere or up there. I can't remember where it is. <laughs> have a good day, bye.